Hello everyone, my name is Andrew for Aurora Gameworks and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today's video will be creating a simple sprinting system for your character. Uh, in this case it'll be for the third person uh, character template. The first thing that we're going to do is go to our third person character blueprint, open it up, and let's click on character movement under components. And we want to go to character movement walking. And we want to set our max walk speed to either a a walk speed or like a light jogging kind of speed, um, slower than a sprint. And in this case, that's about 200. And now, somewhere on our graph, we can add in the input button that we want for our sprinting. Um, I think most games <laughs> on a keyboard and mouse will probably use uh, left shift. Uh, as the input, but you can have it as anything you want. And now we're going to drag out character movement and we're going to set max walk speed. Let's copy and paste that and get two of them. Pressed and released. And on released, we want to have it set to what we have our default at, which is 200. Sorry, not 2000, 200. Thank you. And we want to have our pressed max walk speed to be what our sprinting speed is. And in this case, we can set it to 800. Let's make it 800 so it's very noticeable. We can compile and save. And because we have our character set up as a template, everything else should um, sort itself out, like all, like all of the animations and stuff. So I'm just walking forward, walking around like normal. And then when I hold down shift, we go into a sprint. And then if I release the shift, and then when I release the shift key, I go back into walking. We can make this a little bit smarter though. If we go back to the blueprint, uh, we can add in one variable called sprinting, question mark. Uh, sorry, alt, drag that in to get um, the set. And then on pressed and released, we can have it so sprinting, yes, if pressed, released, no, if, uh, you know, released. And then we can have it like that. Um, the reason why it's good to set it up this way is because you'll have other things in your game that might need referencing whether or not you're sprinting. For instance, if you're creating a shooter game, you might want to have a check on whether or not you could shoot your gun or not. And one of those checks would be if you're sprinting or not sprinting. Um, perhaps you don't want your guy to be shooting while he's sprinting. He can only shoot when he's walking or standing still. So this is good for the future of your project. Um, for like, just making it run better. Um, but we can also uh, smooth out the transition uh, between these speeds, what we can do. Uh, we can actually get rid of one of these and we can create a timeline. Let's call this timeline sprint speed or run speed or anything you want. Um, and we want to have pressed connected to play and let's have release connected to reverse and update into our set max walk speed. Let's open up the timeline, create a float track. Now you can set the length to whatever you want. Uh, we can make it very noticeable in this tutorial. Let's make it one second. Um, if I was making this for like my own game, I'd probably set this to a very subtle um, quarter second to half a second. Um, but anyways, we can hold down shift and get two keys. Set the time to zero and then set the time to one. And then we want the value for our first key to be 200 which is the walking speed, and then let's set the value on the second key to 800, which is our sprint speed. We can see our entire graph here, and you could leave it linear like this, or you can select it like that, and create a smooth curve like that, or if you think that perhaps it takes a while for you to get up to sprint speed, but it's quick for you to go from sprinting to a standstill, you could even bend the graph like this. So we can compile and save, and we want to, well first let's actually name our track, 
let's call it uh, just speed and then let's go and connect this up to our set max walk speed and compile and save now if we go back into our level you see that we now have a slight transition with our sprinting speed so yeah that's uh, pretty much how you make a simple sprinting system um, I'll make a part two to this video to um, show you how to add in a simple stamina system uh, if you want your game to have that but for now I've been Andrew for Aurora Gameworks uh, comment if you have any questions subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you next time take care guys